good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on thermodynamics today we are going to discuss about the entropy is a property of the system or not now let us prove the entropy is a property of the system okay now let us consider any thermodynamic coordinate in which initially the system at the state point 1 and it reaches the second equilibrium point that is state point 2 by following the path a now the system is following the path a from state point 1 to state point 2 okay and the system is returning back to the same initial point 1 by following the path b now let us see the 1 a 2 b 1 is the reversible cycle now the reversible cycle is 1 a 1 a 2 b 1 this is the cycle so now for a cycle cyclic integral of delta q by t equal to 0 this is a reversible cycle so it is equal to 0 if it is a irreversible cycle less than 0 okay now it is equal to 0 means heat interactions corresponding temperature the ratio of heat interaction to the corresponding temperature the sum of heat interactions to the the sum of the ratios of heat interactions to the corresponding temperature is equal to 0 there are two processes that is 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 so there must be a two heat transfers so two heat interactions so two temperatures 1 and 2 okay now now the system is following from state point 1 to 2 by following path a now the change in entropy that is integral 1 to 2 delta q by t in path a plus now the system is moving from 2 to 1 by following path b so integral 2 to 1 it is following from 2 to 1 so integral 2 to 1 delta q by t in the path b is equal to 0 so we are considering only this one only we are considering only this one this as cycle now reversible cycle 1a 2c1 now now let us consider the system is at 1 and it is following path a and reaching the point 2 and it is returning back from point 2 to point 1 by following the path c not the path b now the cycle is the reversible cycle is 1a 2c1 this is the cycle now now similarly it is cycle so cyclic integral of delta q by t equal to 0 so if i apply this integral 1 to 2 delta q by t in path a plus integral 2 to 1 delta q by t in path c integral 2 to 1 delta q by t in path c is equal to 0 now from equation 1 and 2 you can write so if you write delta q by t integral 1 to 2 delta q by t in path a is equal to minus of this one in path in second equation integral 1 to 2 delta q by t in path a is equal to minus of this one so both the same both the equations left side parameter is same so you can equate the right side parameters so 2 to 1 delta q by t in path b is equal to 2 to 1 delta q by t in path c of course minus sign come they are get cancel so they are equal now from this equation you can write cyclic integral of delta q by t is independent of the path followed by the system that means this delta q by t value let us consider this is a value of entropy it is equal to entropy actually this entropy change in path b that is system is moving from 2 to 1 in path b is equal to change in entropy of the system when the system is following path c from changing from 2 to 1 so that means when the system is moving from 2 to 1 in b direction or in c direction or if i consider the d direction whatever the direction it is considered or whatever the path it is considered this value is not changing this value is depends only on the end points now the system is following 2 to 1 in path b and the same value changed in path c also if i consider path d so same value you will get so that means delta q by t in path b is equal to delta q by t in path c that is equal to delta q by t in path d if it is there so that means there is no change with respect to the path no that means these values are the value of change in entropy is depends only on end points not on the paths that is the statement so it is a point function so it is a property of the system see this delta q by t is nothing but the ds ds is the change in entropy s is the entropy so cyclic integral of delta q by t is the cyclic integral of ds for reversible process so ds is nothing but the change in entropy thank you very much